tonight we will have after a very stormy few weeks a rare chance actually to in a clear sky try to see the comet A3 Sunshin Atlas so hopefully the sun is there if I can focus on it yeah the sun is there if it sets here the comet will be right here so hoping that uh, we will be able to see it at the moment it must be somewhere like here so practically invisible too bright but uh, if things go well I will be looking for that otherwise tomorrow is another night I can look and I'm lucky that uh, I can actually view the sunset from my balcony oh hallelujah I can see the comet it's fainter than the new eyes but it's quite uh, the same size a little bit bigger probably the bright side of it anyway I can see um, I used the binocular a 750 binocular and I could see it Wow, oh, that was amazing I try to bring it to the center so you can see but uh, probably you will not see it and this is the image with uh, just a normal uh, setting of a photo of a uh, mobile phone. Nothing else. It's a Huawei mobile phone. They're one of the best in the world, you can call them. Finally, Comet Su Shan. And uh, is visible. A3 or Su Shan Atlas. Beautiful. Quite high, actually. I didn't expect it this. Quite easy to find with a binocular. Then uh, I used two stars, which are to the... Um, yeah, to the left side of it then directed the camera and that is where it is now I photographed it amazing two seconds exposure and quite easy with the mobile phone uh, I photographed it I think that is now at the center yeah that's the center Amazing. Okay, I'm using the 6400 ISI, ISO, and uh, two seconds exposure. And now I'm going to take a photo. Yeah, amazing. That's the comet. It needs a bit of zooming, but anyway. Better, sorry, better focus. But anyway. Oh no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's focused. It's amazing. Oh, hallelujah. I was successful. I can say visually it's difficult to see. It's probably magnitude. I will put it at magnitude 2. It's not that easy. Of course, I'm, I'm having a lot of light pollution here, but uh, magnitude 2 is my estimate. Uh, maybe the magnitude that uh, we are seeing is for the whole comet. It's a diffuse object, so that magnitude, that brightness, is a spread over an area. And if you concentrate it on one spot, that will be magnitude 0 or minus 4. Or what I can see is magnitude 2 or even weaker. And as you can see, the clouds are rolling in. They're very thin clouds, not uh, thick clouds, but yet they have managed to, as you will see in the next photograph, they managed to make it impossible to see. So they covered it. So let's see another photo, how it is. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, barely visible it was. Let's just go and see. Yeah. You can see the head of it here. I put it at center. Yeah, that's the uh, comet. So the clouds are rolling. Tomorrow, tomorrow evening, we will have a um, cloud-free night. Tonight is just half cloudy, half clear. Let's see anyway. I enjoyed it. I observed it. 
I thought I will not be able to see this one. I've seen many comments. Nothing like here at Kotake, nothing like Hailbop, nothing even like uh, New Wise. New Wise was a different comment, beautiful, bright. Anyway, it was a comment. We have seen it. And I think that comment uh, ZTF was amazing. Every night you could follow it. Yeah, it's now shining uh, from beneath the clouds. You can see it. Yeah, it's gradually coming out. These clouds are fastly moving because these are the um, Atlantic front with the jet stream pushing them away toward the west. Toward the east, sorry. So they're coming from the west toward the east. So we are looking toward the east here. So now I've tried with the uh, setting of the ISO 3200 and the uh, timing of uh, two seconds again. And this is the result. A better, darker sky background, less red and more interesting. Oh, I love this. This is really going to be nice. Now this is the, with the ISO of 1600. And again, the same two seconds. Two seconds seems as a good uh, balance between the movement of the comet and the sky. And uh, there, the ability to actually get the pinpoint stars without leaving a streak. Nice. Now this is with the ISO of uh, 12,800. As you can see, the sky background is very bright. But you may be able to follow the tail of the comet a little further up. It's not as big as what you see on the, I mean, the visual thing that I can see with this camera. As big as what you see in the simulations, but it's quite large actually for its uh, size. Okay, here I have gone for the highest possible thing. 12,800 was the previous one. This one is probably 24,000 or 25,000. ISO. Amazing. So now I put it on 4 seconds and ISO of 1600. Nice. Okay, I have tried to go with the 8 seconds. The result was a little bit disappointing because the clouds are stepping in. But anyway. Uh, You can see the tail here, and that's one of the best results. The tail is very long in this one. Amazing. Beautiful. And okay, how I actually focus this camera, you have to find a brighter star or a distant object and focus on that. Then you can use it for taking images of the stars or comet. Buzzy! And tonight is one of the closest moons. Beautiful. Even the cat knows that. <laughs> 